construction. A group of church members in Gibson City are building a tiny house. They're hoping it'll help them raise money for refugees around the world. ABC News Channel's Kim Shine tells us how. This tiny house behind me is 160 square feet of compassion, an exciting idea to engage Pastor Ed Taylor's congregation and to help raise money for a disaster relief fund that's helped refugees for more than 70 years. For the last two months, construction on a tiny house has happened right outside First Christian Church in Gibson City and right across the street from Cheryl Campbell's home. I was wondering, what are they building? Is it for the, you know, like the preschool? And they had something to do with that? Not quite. The 160 square foot home will be auctioned off to help refugees. Church members started the Tiny House Big Heart Project to raise money for Week of Compassion. It's the Relief, Refugee, and Development Mission Fund of the Christian Church, and it's aimed at ending the suffering of others. The money literally travels around the world. Some of it's used here in the United States for disasters like floods or um, uh, hurricane. Um, but it also goes around the world and, and reaches refugee camps. Dozens of volunteers have helped with the build, including its designer, David Ricks. Ricks, an aspiring architect, was a high school senior when he took the idea to Pastor Taylor. It's really just kind of great. Even though we, we never really see these people, you still know that they, they need it. And it's really just great to be able to raise money for them. Though small, both men say the two-bedroom home has the amenities of a normal-sized residence. And since it doesn't have wheels, Taylor says it can be placed on a foundation like larger homes. It includes a bathroom area, a kitchen area, um, uh, a kind of a study area, and they call it the great room, which is just a few square feet, actually. But then it includes a loft, which um, can uh, hold a queen-size bed. Neighbor Cheryl Campbell says she's amazed at how quickly the tiny house is being built and thinks it will sell just as fast. Yeah, it's a lot. I've seen it build from flat to right now where it's at. Details are still brewing, but once construction is complete, an open house will be held for the public. Now, Pastor Taylor says the plan is to auction off the house around mid-October, and apparently there are already some interested bidders. From Gibson City, Kim Shine, ABC News Channel. And Kim, thank you so much for that. Now, Pastor Taylor says the church is hoping to raise at least $20,000 for a week of compassion. If you're interested in bidding or just learning more about the tiny house project, we've put the information on our website.